rain or shine, when Richard Overton has a birthday, he does it big. This is true block party style here in East Austin. There's people from the neighborhood here, family, friends, veterans, all standing in line, waiting to spend a little bit of time with Mr. Overton, get a picture with him, talk to him, give him a gift. And today's birthday is extra special because the street that he's lived on for a long time is getting an honorary name, Richard Overton Avenue. For Richard Overton, the nation's oldest veteran, the celebration of his 111th year on this earth started at the University of Texas Club, a luncheon in his honor. How, how you doing today? I'm doing all right. All right, because it's your birthday? Sure. Overton, an Army veteran, served in Hawaii and the South Pacific during World War II. He built a house in East Austin in 1945, and he's been there ever since. And at 111, he's as sharp as a tack. Still here, I can still see. I can still walk. Overton's birthday this year is an even bigger deal than the last. The Austin City Council helped give the street he's lived on for more than 70 years an honorary name, Richard Overton Avenue. I have already received photos of you with the sign and under the sign. <laughs> Overton's life since being named the oldest veteran has been a whirlwind. Former Governor Rick Perry paid him a visit on his front porch. It's an honor to I, meet you, sir. An honor to meet you. Yes, sir. I just wanted to come by and visit with you. And he was honored in Washington, D.C. one year for Veterans Day by President Obama himself. His service on the battlefield was not always matched by the respect that he deserved at home, but this veteran held his head high. Honor Flight Chairman Alan Bergeron sat next to Overton during the luncheon and sang his praises. We're going to get the big statue of Mr. Richard Overton and put you in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> This last year, he quit driving, so he was driving at 110, um, and uh, very sharp, very sharp. He's very aware of his surroundings, and um, you know, everyone always asks, "How do you do it? What's your secret?" And he always says, "God." He always references. He's a very spiritual man. But Overton also gives a little credit to cigars. How many cigars have you had this morning? And whiskey, even though his opinion on the spirit seems to change a little bit every time we chat with him. No, I used to drink whiskey a long time ago. I always drink a little bit. That kept me alive. That's why I'm living so long. <laughs> whiskey help you. The same as medicine, if you take it right. The Fox 7 crew brought him a bottle of Maker's Mark, apparently his favorite. Many of his other guests had the same idea. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. I know everybody's been getting you a bottle of whiskey. What, what are you going to do with all these bottles of whiskey? Throw them out of your heart. Throw them out of your heart. What are the flowers with it? I can get it started. And as for being the nation's oldest veteran, Richard Overton is grateful and looking forward to 112. I ain't getting rich, but I feel glad. What can I say? We love this guy. Always love talking to him. From all of us here at Fox 7, happy birthday to Mr. Richard Overton.